morning, everyone ready? Just about. Ready? Perfect. Good morning. My name is Mark Densler. I'm President and CEO of the Illinois Manufacturers Association. I'm very proud to represent a vibrant and innovative manufacturing sector that makes the world a better place to live every single day. Manufacturing workers are dreamers and creators. Thousands of good job openings exist today in our sector. And manufacturers do some pretty amazing things. Make life-saving products, feed the world, power our homes and businesses, transport people and product around the world and into space, develop communication networks, and provide for our nation's defense. Last year, the IMA commissioned Manufacturing Matters, an economic study showing the immense impact of manufacturing in Illinois. 592,000 men and women work on factory floors today, earning more than $80,000 on average in wages and benefits. $304 billion in economic output, representing 12% of the state's gross product. Manufacturing is the largest jobs and economic multiplier of any sector in the economy. Manufacturers are innovative, diverse, sustainable, and moving forward at the speed of light. So it's very clear that manufacturers make a lot of things, and they make some very cool things that impact our world in large and small ways. But the bigger question, what's the coolest thing made in Illinois? Today, the Illinois Manufacturers Association is pleased to kick off Maker's Madness, a fun and interactive contest so that Illinoisans can vote on the coolest thing made in Illinois. Maker's Madness is a two-month online contest where Illinoisans can nominate and then vote for the coolest thing made in Illinois. We'll also tell the story about good-paying jobs that are available in manufacturing today. We'll crown our champion at a luncheon at the Governor's Mansion on April 1st. That's no joke. So, do you have a favorite donut to eat every morning or brew your cup of coffee in a machine manufactured locally? Food manufacturing is our largest sector in Illinois. Maybe it's your favorite pizza, candy, nuts, macaroni and cheese, cheesecake. Could it be a cold beer, can of soda, or your favorite spirit? In Illinois, we make American flags, NFL football helmets, Major League Baseball bats. Something as complex as a flight simulator or as simple as a hammer and nail used in construction. Medicines and biologics that save lives, those famous red kettles that pop up around Christmas or the little red wagon you find under your tree. Iconic combines, bulldozers, and dump trucks. Military flashlights used in every Abrams tank or floor mats for your vehicle. Speaking of vehicles, is your favorite car or SUV manufactured in Illinois? Maker's Madness is your chance to nominate and vote for the coolest product made in Illinois. So please join this fun contest to show what's made in Illinois, the impact of manufacturing, and help us decide what the coolest thing made in Illinois is. With that, I'm happy to take any questions and look forward to uh, a fun eight weeks. Mark, uh, cool is subjective. What would you define as cool, or what should people consider when they're thinking about what is the coolest thing? So cool is subjective, and, and Greg, $304 billion in economic output, um, it could be something very innovative and very high tech, gears that are on the International Space Station, for example. It could be something as simple as macaroni and cheese that maybe your kids like to eat every day. So. We have a, a lot of great products in Illinois. I love visiting factories to see what's made in Illinois. We have such a diverse manufacturing space, so we're gonna let, the, we're gonna let Illinoisans decide what they think the coolest thing made in Illinois is. So there are brackets, and we vote through the different rounds, is that it? So no, coming back to the site again and again? Right, so nominations will start today and run for a couple weeks, and then we'll have an initial round of voting to narrow it down to the top 16. They'll then be bracketed, and we'll have rounds of voting to uh, go from 16 down to eight, down to four, and then you'll get to vote for one and four, and we will crown the champion on April 1st, and votes will be restarted at e each round. They're not cumulative over the time. So now, what does the product win, and, and what do I win? <laughs> you can have a donut this morning, Dave, when we're done. Um, so at the governor's mansion, they will be getting a, a trophy, a nice banner, recognition in the IMA magazine, uh, and hopefully stories in the press about what Illinoisans think is the coolest product made in Illinois. So who are, are there 
a set list that you guys are providing, or is it uh, purely nomination where it, it's, I can nominate whoever? It's purely nomination. So you can go online today, you can nominate one product, you can nominate ten products. Um, I hope and I believe we'll have several hundred nominations made. Uh, for the initial rounds of voting, you can vote up to five products a day. And then once you get into the rounds of voting, you can vote once per day per email. What qualifies as made in Illinois? I know there's a lot of products that are assembled in Illinois. Others are made 100% in Illinois. So, I mean, does that, does that matter here? And who's going to be, um, you know, verifying that this is the right type of company uh, for this contest? Right, so they have to be substantially manufactured in Illinois. The company headquarters does not have to be in Illinois, but the product has to be made here. And um, so we'll be reviewing all of these submissions that come in just for accuracy to make sure they truly are manufactured here. Um, and, and then we'll, uh, the entire list will be provided online and the voting will commence. So Mark, where do people go to do this? That's a great question, Tony. So the website is makersmadnessil.com. Uh, nominations are available today uh, and going through I think the 23rd and then the online voting will start and at each round we'll announce who kind of the sweet 16 are, the elite eight, the final four. So we'll keep everyone abreast and again it's a great way to show what is made in Illinois, great jobs that are available, almost 600,000 men and women work in manufacturing and so it's going to be a fun contest because a lot of times we don't realize all these products are made in Illinois. So how did it start with you guys sitting around in a conference room saying, you know what we really need? How, take me through that process. Well, we, we started this last year, Dave. Uh, when I became CEO, we commissioned Manufacturing Matters to show the impact of manufacturing in Illinois. As I mentioned, 592,000 men and women on factory floors, $304 billion in economic output. We wanted, and we took a tour around the state for about 12 weeks. We now want to show what the products are made in Illinois because Manufacturers have to do a better job of opening their doors and trumpeting their story. We have to attract the next generation of workers to Illinois. And by showing the products are here, the companies that are here, uh, hopefully we can also help uh, provide that next pipeline of workers for manufacturers. Contest, contest of cool. Contest of cool. What made you guys say, hey, 2020 is the right time for us to do this? Um, just, uh, again, I became CEO last year. We did Manufacturing Matters. Uh, 2020, it's, we, we, we show the totality of the sector last year. We want to really focus this year into what is made in Illinois. Uh, most people don't realize all of these products are made right here in the state of Illinois. Some in Springfield, Chicago, Cairo, all across the state. So we just really want to show the great manufacturing presence that we have in Illinois. you plan on doing this uh, every year? We do. Our goal is to have this every year and, and have the contest and uh, see what the Illinoisans vote uh, every year for their, their coolest product or their favorite product that we make right here at home. Sort of a sports question, but do you have any projected front runners? <laughs> well, I got to tell you, so I just got back from the Super Bowl and my Kansas City Chiefs fan. So I'll point out the Mahomes Crunch, which is made by Gilster Mary Lee, a private food manufacturer in southern Illinois. Um, and I like Crown Royal, so, you know, those might be my votes, I'm not sure. But, uh, again, I think to an earlier question, everybody has their favorite thing, uh, whether it's a food item or um, another product that they buy. And so we think this is going to be a fun contest to really showcase great manufacturing. All right, Perfect. Thank you all. Thank you. you have a moment outside of the team. What is it with you and the Chiefs? Uh, my uh, group indicator, but my... Godparents lived in Kansas City, my parents were from Kansas City, and so we go to Kansas City for you know, all the time. So George Brett's my all-time favorite baseball player in uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Hey, everybody want a donut, help yourself. Yes. Yeah. Madison, no, are you okay if I go up front and get some close-ups? Yeah. Okay, if I already got some videos. Thank you. Right. Anybody former youth in care into managed care on, April, on February 1st. Many of these youth have extremely complex, medical need, extremely complex medical and behavioral needs. This is a group whose needs Illini Care didn't even attempt to assess prior to the rollout, and it is also a group of very vulnerable children who do not have active court cases where relief can be sought. Our office has been flooded with calls from concerned parents and foster parents. We have received countless calls and emails about the wholly inadequate provider network and about medically complex children losing access to providers that have been treating them for years. 
Since Saturday's rollout and the transition of 19,000 former